How much free info should you be giving away? Hi, I'm Brian Pombo. Welcome back to the Orange Office. Feeling a little bit better today. You can probably still hear. I have a little bit of a cold or whatever it is in my throat, but <clears throat> feeling a, not feeling 100%, but feeling better. Enough to be able to get into some really good stuff here because I one thing that I found, well, We'll get into that in a second. I, I just want to welcome you back. We're in Grants Pass, Oregon, and this is Brian J. Pombo Live. Today, uh, just as in the past handful of days, we've been discussing daily content and what it would take if you were interested in putting out daily content or having someone at your company put out daily content on a regular basis, which I recommend doing because we have this free medium of social media. It is free to put your stuff out there. And uh, it's not great on a free level. It doesn't mean everyone will see it or everyone you want to see it will see it. What it means is that people who are searching for your stuff will see it. And it's a way to be able to reach out, at least in the short run, and get to have a feel for what works and what doesn't work in terms of uh, what people are looking for and what works on your end in terms of delivery and what need and what you think really needs to get out there we can go into more detail and you can watch some of the other videos with in terms of why you would do daily content but today i'm going to talk about go back and talk about some of the excuses that hold us back from doing daily content i know one of the things that was always in the back of my mind was if i'm selling information for a living so me i'm a business strategist i help businesses to uh basically achieve their their dream potential. So take them from wherever they're at, and let's say they wanna make double, triple, quadruple where they're at in terms of uh, ongoing income, and that will allow them to be able to structure themselves the way they want, be able to have their the uh, business owners and executives can have their own lifestyle apart from the business and be able to build everything that they want out of their business. And I'm, I'm, I help them to, create plans to achieve that. So a lot of what I do is information based, especially in the early days in order to get attention, in order to uh, create trust between me and potential clients, I've got to put out a whole lot of information. Some of that information is free and some of that information is paid for. So what happens when you're giving all the information away for free? And not only that, but that other people are given the same information or from your mind the same information away from free, for free there's a whole i mean we could go on for days about a lot of the issues the concepts of free information but i'm just going to lightly touch on it so one of the main fears is that you're going to saturate your marketplace you're going to quench their thirst for the information by giving them too much there's a couple ways to go about do, uh, dealing with this uh, I've heard this from both uh, Dan Kennedy and from uh, Russell Brunson, and and one of the most common ways that they talk about doing it is they say what you want to do is provide in your free information the what, especially if you're if you work in the how-to field and most information is how-to information, then you provide them what they need to do, but not how you hold back on how to do it and you sell them the how to do it, the specifics of the how. The what, you could tell them all the details as far as the what, but the how, you don't want to give them any of that information out front. This can work. This can totally work and, I, and I've seen it work on many levels. For me personally, myself, I don't get rich on selling how-to information. And I am more than willing to go through the how with people. It's not, it's not my thing to hold back on the how or to try and differentiate between what a what is and what the how is. For me, it's a, it's a bit too cerebral and it's just not the way I function. Here's how I function. What I do is I will provide everything for free. I just, I put it all out there. And it finally came to me that where my real value is, isn't in the information itself. Because most of the information that I provide and I send out there to everybody, it's information everybody could have anyways. It's all out there. I got it from somewhere. 
I've learned it from reading and, and watching what's happening in the marketplace, and it, it doesn't take much to be able to gain this stuff. That's not really where the value is. The real value is in uh, the consolidation of information, so how it's put together to make it as useful as possible. So even in these situations, I'm providing you all this free information on all my videos, but it doesn't become super valuable until I can consolidate it. Let's say I took everything that had to do with daily content and I put all of the info that I was bringing to you here for free, I put it all in the format of a book. So we transcribed it and put it into a book all of a sudden, that's that's valuable, even though it's available for free out there. You could go back and you can you could filter through all my videos and try to find all the ones about daily content and everything else. But if I take all that and I put it into a book, and that's your focus, that's what you want is daily content. That book becomes valuable to you, especially if you're if you're good at retaining information through reading, or if you're good at uh, using books as kind of like textbooks, and you you can go back and look at it and write notes from it and everything else. All depends on how you learn, right? But that's just an example. It, how you consolidate something creates a convenience factor, which then makes it valuable and it's worth trading money for. Another thing is though, the big thing, the things I get most money from is taking the principles I'm talking to you about and customizing it to companies, customizing it to specific people, customizing it to specific situations. So talking with somebody, I can tell real quick by the questions I ask on what the next question is that needs to be asked and what needs to be done next. And if you're just jumping into this field and just learning all this stuff at once, it's just kind of all a mishmash. But if you're talking to someone like me who knows where to take you because of experience and knowledge, that becomes valuable then. So then I don't have to worry about all the free info I get. I'll give out all the free info because I know that my real value is in that spot. Now, if your real value is in how, then you don't want to give that away right away. You got to find out where your real value is. Where does your, where's your real potential held at? And just put a value, put a number on that, put a price on that, start putting it out there, uh, on what, what you're gonna charge for those type of services, what those services are, look at different ways of providing it, both in, uh, how, uh, both in kind of a DIY sense, so you provide materials for people to kind of go through on their own, but also lead them to being able to work directly with you or, you know, all depending on your services and product. Hopefully that helps out a little bit in terms of concept of information marketing. Tomorrow, we're gonna to be talking about a similar area, but in the meantime, go to dreambizchat.com, especially if you are a business owner or an executive that's in the self-reliance space and you're interested in taking your business from where it's at to an absolute dream business, go to dreambizchat.com, watch the video. If you're interested, fill out the application and we'll get to talk, especially if you're qualified. Tomorrow, all new stuff. Come back then. <laughs> we'll see you. Bye.